Hello and welcome to my Let's Play of the 12th game in the Toho series, Toho UFO. We will be playing through the game on normal mode and we'll be doing a live 1cc clear, which pretty much means I don't use any continues. And I'll be doing it live so you're not watching a replay or anything like that. Um, and yeah, let's get started. Oh yeah, and if you're wondering what the Toho series of games is, or what they entail, um, just look at the links in the description, and cause there's like way too much to explain, so yeah. Anyway, I'll be playing through the game on normal mode, and... As I go through the stages, I'll just say a few facts about the characters and the bosses and stuff, and the stages, but other than that, this is just a let's play, so sit back and enjoy. Alright, now I choose my character. We have Remu, Marisa, and Sane. Um, hmm. I think we're gonna go with Marisa, because she has lasers, and lasers are awesome. And yeah. Alright, anyway, this is stage one. Obviously, it's the first stage of the game. And right now, we set off to... If you see that big shadow in the background, we're trying to follow it because it's a giant floating ship and we think there's treasure aboard and that's pretty much the story so far and you see to gain extra lives and extra bombs and stuff and score in this game you have to collect three UFO pieces of a certain color once you do a UFO appears and you have to fill it with the items that are coming out of the enemies it's pretty complicated like if you don't know what's going on but yeah like you can see that's a blue UFO piece right there that gives you score and yeah, like, the red UFOs give you life pieces, the green UFOs give you bombs if you fill them up completely, and the blue ones just give you extra score. And right now we're facing the mid-boss, who I will explain about later when she reappears. Yay! You see, I just made a red UFO appear, and once I fill it with items, and I make it explode by shooting at it, it will give me a heart piece and give me an extra life like the one I just got. So yeah, that's pretty much the main gist of how you get items and s like extra lives and stuff in this game. But yeah, we're still chasing the floating ship and I am gaining lives by collecting red UFOs. And now we destroy it. Yay! And there you go, that was stage one. Pretty easy, right? Considering we're only playing on normal mode compared to like lunatic, which is impossible. Anyway, um, we, yeah, pretty much, okay, here's the first boss, her name is, I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce this right, Nazrin, she is a mouse yokai, I believe it's called, and, um, she's pretty much saying, like, stop chasing my floating ship, because she got a treasure reaction, apparently, from her little rods of awesomeness, and... You're apparently not treasure, so she's going to attack us. Because she doesn't want us finding the ship. Yeah. And so now she begins attacking them again. Yes, there's bullets, but you have to dodge them, because that's what these games are like. Yay, spell card attack. A spell card attack. It's pretty much like a special attack that you have to either wait through if it's a survival card, or destroy it by draining the enemy's life, which I just did. And pretty much you dodge the bullets and drain the enemy's life by keeping your bullets on them. And yeah, that's pretty much the main gist of all these games. If you were too lazy to click the link in the description, this is her final attack. Vision Sign Nazrin Pendulum. It's easy once you know how to beat it, but on like... on har Believe it or not, on hard mode, it's actually harder to beat this card than it is on Lunatic. I know that's kind of hard to, you know, understand, but it is. I've played it before. It's really hard. And there you go. We just beat stage one. Now on to stage two. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. And the frame rate is getting lower as I speak. And stage two, we're still chasing the flying ship because it's full of treasure and awesome stuff, so yeah. And in this stage, a lot of the enemies you destroy fire bullets on death, so you just have to either use a UFO to clear the screen, or 
like, yeah, just dodge them. Oh yes, did I also say that when you destroy a UFO like that, it clears the screen of bullets, like a bomb. So, it's pretty effective. Especially in tight situations where there are lots of bullets on the screen like right now. These things build up your power because they're dropping little peas, and if you get the peas, then they gain power and stuff. Yeah. Woo, I'm at full power for the win. And there's the mid-boss. I'll explain about her later. Because there are really no mid-boss only characters in this game. All the mid-bosses reappear as regular bosses somewhere in the game. So, yeah. Do, 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 do. Yay! That was close. Almost died. Yay. Ugh! Destruction. <laughs> ah. Yay, bullets. What are you talking about? What bullets? I see no bullets. There are no bullets in this game. There are no bullets in this game. What are you talking about? I don't see any bullets. You must be lying. Ah. Yay. Everything's going smoothly. And there is the second stage boss. She is a lost umbrella, apparently. And she plays no actual part in the actual plot. She just, she tries to surprise people, because that's her ability, surprising people. And her name is Tatera Kogasa, I think. I'm awful at reading these names. I am so sorry. But anyway... She pretty much says, why aren't you being surprised? I'm going to attack you now. And that's what she does. Because everything attacks you in this game. And I don't know why. It's like everything is out to get you. Even the bullets. Even the bullets shoot bullets. You should see some of these other games. This one isn't that hard if you know how to beat it. The hardest part is pretty much destroying the umbrellas before they slam into you. Because they're like kamikaze umbrellas. Yes, she attacks with umbrellas, because that's what she does. Do 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 Yay. This one is annoying, because then the bullets all bunch up, and you have to go over here to dodge them, and you have to move back. At least that's how I do it. I've seen people stay directly in the middle, but it's it's hard to avoid being hit. So yeah. Yay! And her final attack, obviously her hardest one. A lot of these... A lot of the strategy in this game, in a lot of these types of games, is memorization. If you know what's coming at you, then you can beat it. You know, if you know how to beat it, it's all about knowing. Woo, stage two! That was epic. And there you go! I'll have to end the video for now so it doesn't go over the 10 minute time limit if it didn't already. So, yeah. I will see you in the next video. Farewell, stage 3, next time.